So what we've got here is we've got a sorry state of affairs. This pond's covered in blanket weed. It looks like floating sick. It's actually turned yellow and it's got fizzing lumps and all sorts in it. It's crazy. Um, the reason why it's yellow is it's basically outcompeting itself for food. So it's like any plant, any plant that's got uh, under stress or is lacking of nutrients, it turns yellow. It's like a tree if it, if it, it hasn't got enough nutrients or um, if it's under stress, it would drop its leaves or they would turn yellow and drop. And basically this is what's happening with the blanket weed here, is it's turning yellow and if we were to leave all of this lot in, it's going to be more of a problem next year because this will add more um, nutrients into the pond, it's the, the nutrient nitrogen cycle, so it's basically a case of this decaying matter will actually feed so it will grow on its old dead self. What we can do in the spring, it's too late really now to be um, effective. If we put in a treatment now, yes it would stop it for up until um, the spring, but our treatments, they really only work for one season. So there's no point putting it in now in September or October. It's much better to wait until the spring. So we'll remove all this and it removes all the excess nutrients that if we were to leave this and it was to all rot, then um, let's get it out. And, um, and then what we can do is we can come back in the spring, in March, in April, then treat the pond. Yes, it's gonna be expensive, but look what happens if you don't treat the pond for blanket weed. It's got a single liner. There's no um, beneficial bacteria or minimal beneficial bacteria growing on this pond because of basically it's a, it's, a, it's a bare liner pool. If you add rocks and gravel, there's a lot more nooks and crannies for the beneficial bacteria to grow and thrive. When we finish today, we're gonna to put in some bio lake. That will basically just um, help um, with the, the, the nutrient load. Obviously we can't get rid of all of it, we'll get rid of the majority of it as you'll see. In the next video you'll see us when we've finished, the, when we've finished it, we're putting in the bio lake. See you in the next video. And there you go, dinner! All the blanket weed's gone and the pond's looking a lot better. We've cut down all the typhus, we've cut down the water lilies, so all of that's not going to add nutrients over the winter months. So what we're going to put in now is we're going to put in a product called bio lake. You might be looking for... Um, for a treatment that basically reduces blanket weed naturally. So putting in this bio lake, um, there's 250 gram uh, of bio lake in those sachets. The water soluble sachets you see, just throw them in and what happens is they start to break down within a couple of minutes, depending on the water temperature. And what happens is all the billions and billions of bacteria start to break down the waste naturally. So that in turn prevents blanket weed from growing, which in turn it, it prevents the whole pond from turning horribly green. So the best way to get rid of blanket weed is to prevent it. As you can see, the, the bio lake has actually gone down to the bottom. That's why we put them in the water soluble sachets. Um, we, could, we could supply it as a powder. Let's say we had a jar of, um, of powder, 250 grams in a, in, a, in a jar. I'd throw it in, the wind would take it away. So we put it in the water soluble sachets. Yes, it's more expensive, but it works much more effectively because it gets in the pond and you don't, look how quick and simple that was. As long as you've got dry hands, it's very simple just literally to throw in one water soluble sachet a month in. This particular pond um, wouldn't need one big bio lake a month. They would probably need four or five mini sachets, that's the multi-aqua sachet, just as a preventative, just as a, ma a maintenance dose. We always put in a, a, a large sachet when we come and do a, a big um, a big overhaul like we've just done. We've taken out lots of blanket weed, cut down the typhus, and we've basically done an autumn service. So we always like to put in a big bag of, uh, of bio lake just so it basically carries on working after we leave. So hopefully um, you've learned something. Don't let your pond get to what it looked like before. Keep it like this or actually even clear because what we've done is we've stirred it up when we've been cutting back the lilies. We've stirred it up so it's actually black at the moment where it should be nice and clear and a beautiful water garden. Right, have a good weekend guys. I'll see you on Monday.